Hello, welcome to the Science Guide ASAP Learning. Today we are going to be speaking about the wonders of digestion, understanding the complexities of the digestive system. The digestive system is an essential part of the human body, responsible for breaking down food into nutrients that the body can use for energy, growth, and repair. It consists of various organs that work together to carry out this complex process, including the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, liver, pancreas, and gallbladder. In this video, we will explore the different parts of the digestive system and how they function, as well as some common disorders that can affect this vital system. Let's start with the mouth, where digestion begins. The teeth and tongue break down food into smaller pieces, while saliva mixes with the food to create a moistened mass that can be easily swallowed. Once the food enters the esophagus, it is pushed down to the stomach by a series of muscular contractions called peristalsis. The stomach then secretes acid and enzymes that further break down the food, forming a thick liquid called chyme. Moving on to the small intestine, this is where most of the nutrients from the food are absorbed into the bloodstream. The walls of the small intestine are lined with finger-like projections called villi, which increase the surface area and allow for efficient absorption of nutrients. The liver and pancreas also play important roles in digestion by secreting bile and digestive enzymes, respectively. As the chyme moves through the small intestine, the nutrients are gradually absorbed, leaving behind waste products that are then transported to the large intestine. Here, water is reabsorbed from the waste material, which becomes increasingly solid as it moves towards the rectum. Finally, the waste material is eliminated from the body through the anus. While the digestive system is a remarkable process, it is not without its challenges. There are several common disorders that can affect the digestive system, such as gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, and inflammatory bowel disease, IBD. These conditions can cause a range of symptoms, including heartburn, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and constipation. To keep your digestive system healthy, there are several things you can do. Eating a balanced diet that includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help ensure that you are getting the nutrients your body needs. It is also important to stay hydrated and to limit your intake of alcohol and caffeine. Regular exercise can also help keep your digestive system functioning properly. The digestive system is a complex and intricate system that is essential for our health and well-being. Understanding how it works and taking steps to keep it healthy can help us avoid common digestive disorders and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Remember to take care of your digestive system by eating a balanced diet, staying hydrated, and getting regular exercise. By doing so, you will help ensure that your body is able to process the nutrients it needs to thrive. Let's put this information to the test. A 52-year-old male presents to the clinic with complaints of bloating, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. He reports that these symptoms have been ongoing for several months and are worse after meals. Physical examination reveals mild abdominal tenderness, and laboratory tests show no significant abnormalities. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? A. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, B. Irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, C. Inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, D. Pancreatitis. Answer. B. Irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. Explanation. IBS is a common gastrointestinal disorder characterized by abdominal pain or discomfort, bloating, and changes in bowel habits such as diarrhea or constipation. Symptoms are often triggered by certain foods or stress. There are no specific laboratory tests or imaging studies to diagnose IBS, and it is a diagnosis of exclusion. GERD typically presents with heartburn and regurgitation, while IBD may present with bloody diarrhea and weight loss. Pancreatitis typically presents with severe abdominal pain and elevated pancreatic enzymes on laboratory tests. Please subscribe, comment, and like.